In today's video, I wanna share with you a recipe that's gonna really help you taste the holidays this season. And it's with a Christmas white peppermint protein shake. Let's dive into it. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If you and I are just meeting, my name is David. And if you're a parent, or if you're especially a dad who's looking to stay fit and to really build some muscle, you're gonna find great tips and great strategies on this channel for helping you to reach your fitness goals. I want to inspire your change. I wanna motivate your transformation. And I wanna help you share that adventure with your family. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Let's dive into this recipe. So once again, here we are with the RPG MREs of the day. And that is actually highlighted on my brother's channel, Avenue Studios where we have the Bomb Squad RPG playing a tabletop game with Open Legends. I'll link it up above and in the description down below. On that channel, we actually try out all of these protein shakes that are really gonna help you with your fat loss goals, but also help you to retain and build that muscle. So today for this recipe, what you're gonna wanna have is some almond or coconut milk. I'm going with coconut milk today. I wanna try something different. You're gonna wanna have your protein, vanilla protein powder of choice, shredded coconut or coconut butter, a frozen banana, and frozen cauliflower. And then finally, some peppermint extract. So we've got all our ingredients laid out. Let's start mixing them together. Again, I normally go with the almond milk. For this recipe, I just felt like it needed something a little bit. So we're gonna go with the coconut milk. And I'm gonna do about one cup. I found for a nice, really thick shake that seems to be doing the trick. Next, brand new bag. So I absolutely love the Arbonne Vanilla Protein Powder. For this, I mean, it's got a really rich flavor. I have a feeling it's gonna work out really well. I'm gonna do two scoops, which is the 20 grams of protein. All right, so next, I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of shredded coconut. And so for this recipe, I'm actually gonna use half a frozen banana. And so bananas, all I can say is, bananas are amazing. Check out the video that I did actually critiquing Thomas DeLauer's anti-banana video. I'll link it above and it'll be down in the description below. Next, we're actually gonna do some frozen cauliflower. I have never tried this, but I'm really interested to see how it actually changes the consistency. So you're gonna wanna do one cup of frozen cauliflower. Cauliflower is absolutely amazing. One of the reasons why I wanted to keep it in this shake, even though it isn't a usual thing to have in a protein shake, is because of the incredible health benefits of it. So cauliflower actually contains some of almost every vitamin and mineral that your body needs. It's also high in fiber and it's a good source of antioxidants, which really help fight the free radicals within your body. Cauliflower also contains something called choline. So choline is actually vital and plays a huge role in helping to maintain the strength of your cell membranes synthesizing DNA and supporting metabolism. Choline is also involved in brain development and really helps you to have a healthy nervous system. It's involved in the production of neurotransmitters that are really gonna help to ensure you have a healthy nervous system. All right, so finally, we're gonna do our peppermint extract. So the recipe I'm doing actually calls for a quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract. I only have a half teaspoon right now, so we're gonna eyeball it. Now finally, what I'm actually gonna add to the recipes, I'm gonna add a few ice cubes. I want this to be nice and icy and frothy. The cauliflower is gonna make a huge difference, as will the frozen banana, but I wanna give it a little extra kick. One, two, three, four. All right, that's all set, let's blend this up. All right, so it looks like it's turning out a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut milk to help kind of bring it into more of a smoothie kind of texture. Let's see how this turns out. So it's definitely a little thicker than I'm thinking it would be, but this looks incredibly thick and delicious. Here's my suggestion, either do a cup and a half of coconut milk, or I would just leave out the ice cubes. All right, so top this off, I'm actually gonna put just a sprinkle of nutmeg on the top, just as a little bit of garnish. And just a little bit, two tablespoons of whipped topping. Or maybe a little more. So there we have it, that is the finished product. Now to give it a try. Where are my manners? That is really good, so the first thing, incredibly thick. It's a really, really good smoothness to it. The peppermint's not too strong. I might even go a little bit more in the next time I make it. Absolutely really good. Don't taste the cauliflower at all, but you're getting all those nutrients in there with it. This is a powerhouse of a shake, and I could sit by a fireplace and be drinking this. 
Don't forget to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of the upcoming future videos. If you want to see the rest of the protein shake recipes in this video series, click or tap the screen right up over here and it'll take you to that playlist. Or if you want to find out more about nutrition for bodybuilding and how to really boost your results, click or tap the screen right up over here. As always, be intentional and bring the intensity. I cannot wait to see you on the next video.